Hey, it's Jean from CA&J Farm. I just wanted to do a quick check-in. Uh, remember, we're an educational herb egg music farm here in beautiful Matthews County, Virginia. I tell you, it is warm enough the last few days. The mosquitoes are out again. They're about to eat me alive. It's about, uh, probably about, about five o'clock or so. And uh, they're coming out in force. I guess it's their last uh, yee-haw before they die for winter. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and say, hey, I've been a little out of touch lately. Um, last Tuesday, I was careless and uh, came running out the back door. It was still that last day of all the rain from Hurricane Ian. And, um, and I hit that back deck and it was slippery wood, slippery wet wood and took a header and I'm lucky I didn't kill myself. I did fracture my wrist. So you be more careful than me. Pay attention to what you're doing, you know. I was uh, loading up the truck. I was going to go do a drum program over in Williamsburg, and I was already down the road in my mind. I was thinking about the songs I was going to be doing, thinking I was, I, yeah, got to be aware, you know. And uh, like I said, I'm lucky it wasn't worse than it is. A few weeks, and, uh, and I'll be good as new. So... Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about some things we've been doing, getting ready for fall. I can't believe it's almost mid-October. This year has just flown. Um, what a quick summer, huh? What a quick summer. We just got done. CA took the, um, the shea cloth off of the hoop house because I've got some seed, seedling starts in there, um, some small cut flowers and some um, fall vegetable starts that they needed more light. And uh, But this, this time of year, you take your shade cloth in, off anyway. Um, to get ready for the for the winter and I tell you it's been kind of a rough time I don't know if you can see we've got a couple of holes in our in our um, plastic there we're definitely going to need to replace it if it makes it through this this winter we'll definitely replace it next spring and um, yeah because it's, it's about four or five years old it's ready to be replaced and it's had some rough it's gone through some rough storms this has been the stormiest summer we actually lost two of our plant tables out here um, that they actually got blowed into the hoop house. So, uh, yeah, it's like, and it seems like all of a sudden all the wood on the farm is rotting and needs to be replaced. And of course, you know, wood costs a fortune these days, but hey, you just assess it, accept it, and move forward and fix it. And we've got a lot to do before it gets cold for winter. Um, some friends have been coming over and to help me because the day before I fell and hurt myself, I, I actually, I went to a, a friend's house. Um, he lives near the Mennonite um, area over there near Denby High School. He has a little farm and, um, and actually his family is Mennonite and we share orders. Um, so we, or we've been doing that for years. We, sh we split orders to save money. And so we had bought all these, uh, these little cut flower seedlings, had about, about 2,000 of them. Slowly I've been having people coming over and help me plant them. I've only got about maybe maybe 300 or 500 left and uh, it's slowly getting done you know but we actually plant by the moon here at CNJ farm and um, nothing magical about that it's just the pull of gravity and I've actually found that it's important to plant on good moon days because that's when the, the gravity's pulling your seed or your plant towards the earth instead of rejecting it I've actually planted before on bad moon days and um, the plant I've planted, the next day I come back and it's like laying on the ground. It's like the earth spits it out. <laughs> so uh, the last few days have been good moon planting days. But today was a bad day and tomorrow will be a bad day. So I'll wait to do those other ones until, um, until a couple of days when the moon's gravitational pull is back good. So anyway, we're getting ready for fall. Um, no matter what happens, uh, you've got to keep taking care of your animals. We had noticed moon and bear were shaking their heads a lot and um, when we looked in there their ears looked kind of you know we we occasionally do wash out their ears but this looked different jacks look fine moon and bears had like black in there kind of like a yeast thing going on so we made sure we spent some time with them today and um, washed out their ears good and I have heard that tea tree oil is not good for animals so we don't use tea tree on our animals but a lot of animal products do contain tea tree and a lot of the ear wash washes do so just be careful of that and research it form your own opinions and use what feels good to you and for your animals um, so we actually bought another natural ear wash um, and added we thought it's a little bit of yeast in moon and bear's ear so we actually took a little bit of apple cider vinegar and added it to the wash 
Um, I think we had it a little strong at first because it seemed like it upset them and maybe it was burning. So we washed out their ears with some water and made sure we dried them really good. Um, and uh, their ears do look a lot better. So be sure if you're working with apple cider vinegar and you're adding it to some of your remedies, start with less is more and, and work forward from there. But you know, so often you wind up trying to um, create something to help your animals or a situation that you don't know how to handle it. Nobody knows how to handle it, but you just kind of do the best you can. Um, we are, like I said, we are um, just getting ready for fall. We had taken the tent down, the big tent on the back deck down because of the storm. And we need to put that back up and get ready. Our, our herbalist course, our 2022 herbalist course is graduating this Saturday. So we're gonna move forward with that. And it looks like it's gonna be a great day and another year gone. Um, the years pass so fast. And we're already looking at 2023 to start our next herbalist class, which will start in April and they'll graduate next October. So time just flies so fast when you're doing something you love. So be sure you find something you love and put your attention to it. That's, that's the secret of, of a happy life, in my opinion. Work hard, do your passion, and um, there you go. Well, these mosquitoes are eating me up and I can't hit them at, with my arm. So I'm gonna go um, on inside and, and, and get ready for the evening. But thank you, hope you're staying well, and I'll talk to you next week.